Lab 01, set up the lab environment. In this lab, we are going to set up the lab environment and get familiar with this seed virtual machine. You may save the virtual machine in your external USB drive or your local hard drive. On Monday, you should have a download and install virtual box. Now, today we will follow the seed menu to install the seed virtual machine. Go to its official website. Lab setup. We will use this seed 2.0. There are three ways using cloud or install locally. We will use this one. The last one is a challenging one built from scratch. Here is its, uh, its manual is here. If you want to build a seed virtual machine from scratch, you may refer to this seed, this manual. So we will follow this manual to install the seed virtual machine, Ubuntu 20.04. Click and download seed Ubuntu 20.04. Here is a menu. We'll create a virtual machine first. Next, we we will use this downloaded seed image. Download. Download anyway. Save it. It's a four gigabyte, so it's quite large. I would like to sell to some other place. Okay, it's uh, downloading. We may create a virtual machine where it's downloading. Here, before you create a virtual machine, please go to the preferences and set up where you want to save your virtual machine. The default machine folder I saved to my external USB drive. The second one is a network. You need to create a net network. If you don't have this one, you need to create this icon, add a new net network. Here is the settings of my net network. You may set up to any uh, private IPv4 block is up to you or use any names you want at the separate IPv6. Okay, that's the premises. Now I'm going to create a virtual machine. Here the virtual machine is Ubuntu, we call it a seed 2004 or seed 2 version 2. Is a Linux Ubuntu 64 bit. Click next. I would like to allocate uh, 4 gigabytes. Don't uh, move past the green region, otherwise, you, you may not be able to uh, run your washing machine. Now this is uh, an important part. We need to use an existing existing virtual hard disk. Oh, I think the download is uh, completed. We need that uh, image we just downloaded. So we will go to that place. Here, see the virtual machine and extract here.
once it's done, move it to the place where you want to save it. I will move it to my external USB drive. Like this one, and Ctrl X, cut and paste to my external USB drive. Size 10.4 gigabyte. one is uh, much larger than the Ubuntu than C the 1.0 the Ubuntu 16.04 Okay, it's done. Now I will choose the exist existing virtual hard disk file. We need to add it first. Okay, it's added here. choose it as the virtual machine is created now we want to change some settings here the setting advanced we want to uh, enable the shared clipboard drag and drop system I want to change this one to PS2 and uh, two processor Enable nested watch technology for the display. I would like to change to 64. Enable 3D acceleration. For 
for other steps, other settings, check the menu. Here, it only allocated 2 gigabytes, so it depends on how many uh, memory you have. Right? Configure the virtual machine, change the settings, the CPU, you can also enable the PENX. In this uh, system, enable PENX is a display and the network here the network network attached to the net network choose the name net network and allow all then click OK that's all here is the settings Start the virtual machine and take a snapshot. How to stop your virtual machine? Create a shared folder here. How to create a shared folder? Pay attention. This shared folder you may share with your local machine. Choose a folder you want to share. The name. It is VM shared. Please use the exact same name, otherwise, you need to uh, change it later. And auto mount here, you can choose a folder you will use here. Pay attention to this name. If you change this name VM shared to other names, to, uh, to another name, then you need to change it here as well. So now let's. Uh, create a shared folder. Here shared folder is called down C2 shared folder. Here is a shared folder we create a shared folder right you choose a place. For example I want to choose this uh, my RAM disk the name I create a see it or just use a shared any name you want and see it what amount click ok and click ok now uh, start this uh, seed virtual machine we want to know the account Username is seed, password is DES. Seed D E E S Okay, that's it. Now we want to uh, verify the shared photo work. Inside the home folder, see it. You don't see any share. Right click, open in terminal. Now I want to make a folder. Make a DLR dash P. What name do you want? You may choose any name you want. I would like quite host. Now you need to mount that shared folder. sudo mount dash t box sf. Pay attention to this name. We used in what name I, I used and check it. Shared folder. That's the name I quite see it. C 
seed. So if you use a, a different name, then you need to change it here. Yeah, I want to mount it on host. Uh, here is the user on share. I want to mount on host. Type ls, and you see that a host is is greened. And uh, ls host, nothing here. Now you can create a file on inside the seed virtual machine. And the cat from seed txt type something this uh, file is from seed then press ctrl d ctrl d ls cd to your host actually no um, from seed is here you may move this from seed to that host cd your host you see a uh, from seed.txt right? on your host machine I create under this uh, place you see this from seed.txt open it this file is from seed now we want to copy some file to seed you can create a new file from host this file is from host control s save it go to your seat your tab areas you see there is a from host cat from host you see this uh, from host uh, notation Import, important note never use your shared folder as your working folder you only use it uh, to share files between your seed and your host machine there's a notice the second uh, notice is don't update your seed virtual machine now the screen looks uh, small how could I Let me change it to full screen to see. It looks good, right? It uh, expand, scale automatically to my whole screen. Let's set up uh, this seed uh, 2.0. is quite easy. Now let's go back to see whether we complete all the tasks. Set up the library environment. The VM's summary is sufficient, which means you only need to take a screenshot of the summary of your seed virtual machine for this one, for this step. This step, test your net network. Okay, the net network. Open a terminal window. Type CD, go to home folder. You can use a uh, IP to have a look. This IP, uh, what information do you do we want to see? Link uh, tunnel dot. Uh, and you can also see some uh, other options. IP address check this one this one I set in my net network right? if you set to a different IPv4 block you will have different information now I want to ping google.com you see the network looks good so, you just make sure your network worked. This is step two. The last step, set up and test the shared folder. I just did. So, this is an easy level and uh, this 
the start point for all the labs we are going to do in this semester.